guys, today is a big day. We are starting potty training. But before we get into that, I wanna say a big thank you to Blinkist who is sponsoring this video and I can't wait to tell you more about that a little bit later on in the video. We are using kind of a combination of potty training in three days and then also just using some recommendations from our friends and family who have already potty trained their kids. Layla Jane is almost two and a half and I think she's pretty much ready to be potty trained. She always wakes up from her naps with a dry diaper and usually um, she wakes up in the morning with a dry diaper too. And I've just been trying to spend the last few days, like the last week, just constantly talking about you're a big girl, soon we're gonna be using the big girl potty um, you're gonna have big girl undies and we're gonna have designs on them and just really trying to get it going and get her excited about it so she's super excited for it today which I think she is but I guess we'll have to wait and see are you gonna go potty like a big girl today where does P go does it go in the potty it goes in the potty doesn't it oh oh well, there went the stroller. Oh, is that funny? <laughs> I guess I'll go downstairs and get that. So anyways, there's a few things that I wanted to make sure we had for this weekend. So I went and got her, well I let her actually choose her big girl undies. And she chose some baby shark ones and then we also got some Minnie Mouse ones. And then I also got pull-ups. And then I also wanted to make sure I got some salty snacks that'll make her drink because I want to keep her drinking a lot. And then we usually don't give her juice, but for this, I got her some of those Honest Kid juice boxes so that, again, she's I'm really encouraging her to drink more so she has to go to the bathroom more often. And a lot of people use like M&Ms as treats for like when they go pee or poop. Layla Jane eats so many sweets that I wanted to try to do something different, so I'm using fruit snacks. And I put them in a clear jar so she can see them and she'll want them and she'll know that's her reward. Okay, they are actually in the bathroom now. Mom, yeah, is that where you're gonna go potty? She actually just told Daddy that she needs to go potty and wants to sit on the potty. So this is a good sign that she's already telling us. But nothing's coming out, so. <laughs> I think she just likes sitting on the pot, which is also good, she's not afraid of it. All right, so she didn't go now, which we weren't really expecting. I think she just wanted to sit on the toilet. So we're gonna have her just put it on a kind of a shorter shirt and then choose her underwear. And I'm not gonna put any pants on her, obviously. And you wanna use underwear, like cotton underwear, not pull-ups during the day, so that she can kind of feel the sensation of that she wants to keep that dry. Which ones do you wanna wear? Do you want those? You can do any one you want. And daddy one. You want to do the blue one? That's a good one. Is that baby shark? Can we keep your undies dry? Uh huh. So Layla, that means when you need to go potty, will you tell mommy? Oh, baby shark, I know. When you need to go potty, will you tell mama? So we keep your undies dry? All right, she's just seeing baby shark now. <laughs> but you really want to emphasize that dry is good and they want to keep their undies dry. I honestly feel like I'm just following her around like a hawk and just like not taking my eyes off her, which the book said you're gonna be doing because you want to catch them. As soon as you start seeing them pee and they don't tell you, which they probably won't the first few times, you want to grab them and take them to the potty. It was just an accident. Yeah. I didn't mean it. Did you go pee pee? Did Yay! you? Yay! Oh my gosh! Yay! Keep going, girl. Flush the toilet. All right, now Layla, we don't want to put wet undies back on. So let's go pick some dry ones out. The book warned me that the first few times they start peeing, you pick them up and run them to the toilet. They're gonna get scared and they're gonna cry and they're gonna scream. And that's exactly what she did. Pick some new, clean, dry ones. You know what's kind of funny? I just realized we were outside, just kind of playing in the front yard, getting some fresh air. 
and I was on the side of the house where Jax goes to the bathroom and that's where she chose to go pee. <laughs> I guess she was thinking if Jax goes pee over here, I can too. Here you go, Layla. Say thank you. Going into the toilet and sitting on the potty like a big girl, you get that. And if you do it again and get all your pee in there, you'll get another one. Even though Say, technically she didn't go potty in the toilet, the book that I read said definitely still reward them that first time because it can be a little dramatic. And so that they realize that they're going to get a treat after each one. We have a little bit over an hour before nap time. Once Brian is finished and he can be the hawk and watch Layla Jane, I'm going to start getting her lunch ready. But it's crucial that someone always has their eye on her. Many of you all know Layla Jane is a super picky eater. However, I just heard about a good strategy or tip from a book called Weird Parenting Wins. And no, I did not read the book because in all honesty, I don't have time to read books. But there is this amazing app called Blinkist. And it is so cool, you guys. It's perfect for all you busy moms out there. And what it is, is they have like over 3,000 books on this app. And what they do is they basically condense these books down to about 15 minutes. And you can either read the condensed version or you can listen to it like a podcast. So I usually listen to them straight from my phone, like in the car when I'm driving Layla Jane around. And I read this entire book, this weird parenting wins, just on our way to school one day. It was that fast. And they don't just have parenting books, they have all sorts of books, like marriage advice, they have biographies, memoirs, history, all the types of books I absolutely love that I just don't have time to read anymore. And you can access them all offline, which is great. They even have new full-length audiobooks, so if you don't want the short and condensed version, you can get the whole audio version. And premium members get special member pricing. They get 65% off those, which is awesome. So I love these because just with my subscription to it, I save a lot of time. I save money because I'm not just buying a bunch of books that I don't get to. And like I said, I just listen to it while I'm getting ready in the morning or while I'm driving her places. It's awesome. And I have a special deal just for you guys. The first 100 people to go to the link in my description below will get unlimited access for one week. Awesome. And you'll also get 25% off if you decide to go with a full membership. So that seven day trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time. Don't hesitate, go give it a shot. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. I love it. So one of the tricks for helping your toddler eat is kind of just make eating fun. I know that sounds so simple, but they mentioned that a lot of times sitting down for a meal is just not fun for a toddler. They have short tension spans and they just want to be running around playing. So maybe just do like smaller snack size meals throughout the day and just kind of make them fun. Normally I would give her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I'm gonna try putting peanut butter on a cracker for her and see if that's kind of new and exciting. And then again, it's not like a huge meal she's sitting down for. She can just kind of grab one and eat it. And then I'm also going to give her some tofu from some miso soup that we got the other night and put some toothpicks in them and see if she thinks that's fun and she'll eat it like that. See what she thinks of this. I'm gonna let her sit on the bench because that's special. Oh, that's good girl. Isn't that fun to eat it with a toothpick? Good job, do you want more? Okay, let me take those and I'll get you some more. This is working. She's eating the tofu. She's eating her peanut butter. This is awesome. Thank you Blinkist for allowing me to read this book on our way to school and get these tips. <laughs> It's okay. Just remember, you gotta tell mommy and daddy. 
Tell us before you pee pee. So we just had accident number two and um, poor thing, it happened and I went to go get her and she just started crying before it even I even got to her because she knew she wasn't supposed to do that. She was supposed to go on the big girl potty. So she knows it's just she's still learning her body and learning when it's about to come and letting us know. But we'll get there. You know, just positive, this is fun. Gotta keep positive attitude so she's feeling good. We are calling these her sleepy time big girl undies. And I made sure I get a fun one with Minnie Mouse on it. Hey girly, it's almost nap time. We need to put you in your big girl sleepy time undies. Do you see who's on there? Minnie. Minnie. So we gotta get those on for sleepy time. Do you like those? Mama, okay, you ready for your nappy? Mama, put down now. Okay, let's go nap. All right, we're taking a break so she can nap. I think we all need a break and a nap. All that's left to do now is get her in her big girl undies. So what I've been reading and hearing from friends is you just wanna keep this super positive. Like um, if they have an accident, you don't say, no, that's bad, or don't do that. You just wanna keep it positive, like, oh, you know what, next time let's make sure we get to the potty or tell mommy before you need to potty so we can get you to the toilet, the big girl toilet, and just keep it positive and happy. And then also you're not supposed to say like, tell me when, or do you need to go potty? Because most kids are gonna say no. So you wanna always say like every, you know, 20, 30 minutes, remember, tell me when you need to go potty, tell me when you need to go potty. And they start kind of learning the sensation of what it feels like to have to go to the bathroom. 